Hi everyone, today I am ready to bring you appetizers three ways using Little Smokies. Alright, I'm Catherine with Catherine's Plates, so if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll know when my shows are posted. Alright, go grab your Little Smokies. Let me know down in the comment section down below what your favorite way is to make Little Smokies. And then after the show's over, make sure you let me know which one was your new favorite. The first one we're going to start off with is Crock-Pot Little Smokies. Three ingredients only. Let's go. All right, so to get started, I'm going to show you the three ingredients that we're going to need to make our three ingredient Crock-Pot Smokies. We're going to start off with about 24 ounces of Little Smokies. Now this is a smoked sausage made with pork and chicken. Nice flavor there. And then you've got 14 ounce can of cranberry sauce. And then you're going to need a 12 ounce jar of chili sauce. Now this is a Heinz variety, so we're going to go with that. And then you're just going to need your crock pot. All right, let's go ahead and start putting this together. First thing we're going to do is place all of our little smokies into our crock pot. Probably that amount right there will be sufficient. All right, now we're going to place our can of cranberry sauce into a medium-sized bowl. That's what's nice about it, right? Look at it came out of there like that. <laughs> I'm just going to take my wire whisk and just kind of loosen it up before we start putting in our chili sauce. This is really going to tame that flavor down on that chili sauce, but oh my goodness, all the flavors in here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead now and put in my chili sauce the whole jar and then I'm just going to mix this all together blend it well mm. I'm going to give this a taste mm. oh my gosh your guest and family is going to love this one y'all alright what I'm going to do now is pour this over my Smokies in the crock pot Just kind of cover up everything. That was so easy. We're going to go ahead now and place our lid onto our crock pot here. Now I'm going to place this on low for four hours or on high for two hours. As long as we get everything just kind of heated through and then you're going to be ready to eat these. All right, I'm going to be back and we'll show you what they look like. Okay, we are ready to check our cranberry chili sauce little smokies that I cooked in the crock pot. Now remember, only two hours on high or four hours on low because all you really want to do is heat these things through and infuse those flavors inside of them. All right, let's take a look. Oh my gosh, y'all, it smells amazing in here. Okay, y'all, put them in a pretty dish. Put some toothpicks next to it. And then, there you go, just like that. I'm gonna try this one for you right here. Mmm, they're so tender. Okay, y'all, I know what you're thinking. Is it really spicy? It's not. It adds a really delicious flavor with that chili sauce, but that cranberry sauce cools that heat down a lot. So it makes a really delicious sauce. Mmm, I'm going in for the last bite here. Mmm. Okay. That's very good. Cranberry sauce, chili sauce, and some little smokies in your crock pot. That's it. Okay, we're going to start our second little smoky appetizer, and it's going to be called bacon wrapped smokies with some brown sugar. Oh my gosh, y'all. If y'all are ready for this one, let me show you what you're going to need. You're going to start off with about a half pound of bacon. About 12 to 14 ounces of Little Smokies. Now you can double this recipe, triple this recipe, whatever you want to make, okay? I think there's about, there might be about 24 Smokies in my bowl right here. And then you're going to need brown sugar. So I would estimate about one cup of brown sugar for this, okay? And then you're just going to need a pan or something to put them in to bake them in the oven. All right, so to get started, we're going to take our bacon that I've taken out of the package, and I'm going to cut these into about fours, about fours. Yes, all right, let's get started on that. Okay, I know you'll have a favorite smoky recipe or 
you know, something that you like. So let me know down in the description box your favorite smoky recipe. Okay, that's one, two, and right there. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is take my piece of bacon here, place my smoky on it, go this way so y'all can see, and then roll it in it. And we're gonna lick the seam side down just like that. All right, so I've got my baking pan here. Now you can lightly spray it, or you can do what I'm gonna do, and that is just take a piece of parchment paper and fit it into there. Just like that. And then I'm going to place my bacon wrapped smoky seam side down onto the parchment paper, just like that. All right, I'm gonna finish these off for you and then tell you where we're going from here. All right, as you can see, they are all done. Look how nice those look, all right. So our last step before we're putting them in the oven is we're gonna take our brown sugar. Now I've got about one cup here and I'm just going to sprinkle them, try to pack them really good on top of that bacon, all right? Oh yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take some and I'm just gonna to try to get it on top of that bacon, just like that. These are ready to go into my preheated oven at 350 degrees. We're looking at about 40 to 50 minutes, all right? I'm looking for some very crisp bacon to be wrapped around these little Smokies. And that's nice caramelized brown sugar on top of that. All right, we'll be back and I'm gonna show you what these look like. Okay, y'all, look how wonderful those look. Bring these to a party? Oh yeah. I don't even know if you're gonna make it out the door with them because you know right now I got people going okay They aren't leaving the house <laughs> Look how good these were the Smokies wrapped in bacon drenched in brown sugar and look what those did All right, I can already tell you that these are good because we've already tried them, but I'm gonna try one for you anyway I got my plate right here And there we go right there <laughs> All right, the bacon is nice and crispy. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. That brown sugar is so caramelized in there, it's delicious. Mm -mm. All right, go get some little Smokies, some bacon and some brown sugar. That was it, y'all. Okay, let's go ahead and get started making pigs in a blanket. Wonderful appetizer for the holidays, for tailgating, for office parties. Hey, even at home while you're decorating a tree or outside watching a movie, it doesn't matter. These are so yummy. All right, you're gonna start off with a package of Little Smokies. Now this is a smoked sausage with pork and chicken. And you can also get the beef flavor too if you would like. I just have them in a bowl right here to kind of help me out when we get started. Now you're gonna need one package of crescent rolls. Now this is just the original recipe one. So there's eight ounces in here. And then you're gonna need some mustard. Now I have regular yellow mustard and I have stone ground mustard that we're gonna use. And then we gotta put something on top of it, right, to make it pretty. So I've got some, whoop, I got some poppy seeds here or you can use sesame seeds which are white. Now the poppy seeds are kind of a black little seed there. Okay, and then you're gonna need a pan with a parchment paper on there or you can even just kind of lightly spray it. You can use those throwaway pans if you're going somewhere with these and that way they're just, you know, you don't have to deal with that anymore. And then I've got a pizza cutter here or you can use a knife and that's going to help cut our crescent rolls. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get out your cutting board and you're gonna place your crescent rolls on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. There we go. All right. Carefully. <laughs> okay. 
Now we're just going to find out where it starts. And roll it out just like that. All right. I'm going to pull them apart to make the little triangles. All right, I'm gonna go ahead now and get a little bowl and I'm gonna put some mustard in there. I'm gonna take my basting brush here, dab it into the mustard, and then I'm gonna lightly coat the crescent roll dough, very lightly. Okay, now we're gonna take our pizza cutter here, or you can use a knife, and we're just going to cut from the large end down to the small end, and we're gonna cut it like three times. Just like that. Place it right there. Now we're gonna roll the smoky from the large end, and roll it all the way to the tip, like this that there. Alright, so in a small tiny little bowl I have one egg and I added one tablespoon of water to it. I'm just going to kind of lightly beat this up and then what we're going to do is take our pastry brush and lightly coat all of our little pigs in a blanket. All right, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead now and sprinkle some poppy seeds on each one. Now remember, you can also do this with sesame seeds. Okay, I'm going to place these in my oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. We're looking for a nice golden brown color on these crescents. All right, I'll be back. Okay, they're out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead now and make a little sauce while they're cooling down. And all I'm going to do is put about a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise. All right, probably about a quarter cup of mayonnaise. I'm gonna say about two tablespoons of some sour cream. There we go. And then I'm gonna put in some stone ground mustard. Use a clean spoon here. All right, I'm gonna mix this together and then we're gonna give it a taste and see if we need to add anything extra. I'm telling you though, y'all, it looks good with all those little specks in there from the stone ground. Oh my gosh. All right, let me go ahead and give it a taste. All right, that rocks. All right, let's go ahead and build our little plate here with our pigs in a blanket and our nice sauce here that I made for it. All right, y'all, look at these pigs in a blanket. Look how golden brown those look. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm gonna place them on my board here. All right, y'all, I am ready to try one of my pigs in a blanket. If y'all put them on a board like that, look at that great presentation there. All right, I got the dip in the center. Gotta try that dip right there. Mm. <laughs> mm. What a fun little bite. All right, y'all, get your crescent rolls, get your little smokies, and put this one together. <laughs> These are gonna be the star of the show. Okay, y'all, what did you think? What was your favorite? Was it the crescent rolls? Was it the crock pot cranberry chili sauce one? Or was it the bacon covered brown sugar one? I'm gonna tell you what my husband's favorite was. It was the bacon brown sugar one, okay? I liked the one in the crock pot. My kids liked the, the crescent roll ones. So let me know down below. And if you have a favorite that I didn't show you, let me know down in the comments down below and maybe one day I'll do it for you. 
All right, so if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Okay, y'all, I will see you on my next episode.